Oh, look at this pork sandwich. A little barbecue. Yeah. Hello back everybody with Stinkleberry Farmer. I'm at Father Hennepin State Park, south shore of Mille Lacs Lake in the small town of Isle, Minnesota. It is late September, mid 60s today. Absolutely gorgeous. And I have found a really nice camp spot in this campground. Site 92, and I'll talk more about the campground area itself, but this site, huge spot for the tent. You could put a, a couple tents or one huge tent here. There, that blue in the back, that's the lake. And this is a really huge spot. And as right now, there's nobody over here camping. Trees are turning. Oh, look at that. Time to set up. So a lot of the time I will do some research and uh, kind of figure out a tent site or campsite and then book it in advance. This time I didn't, I gambled in one because uh, there are two camp areas in here, in this park. Uh, one is called Lakeside, which if I was gonna book something, it would sound like it'd be the proper place to do, um, and the nicer of the two. Um, but I, I decided to come here and check it out, and there is a lake, the Lakeside is, has some by the lake, um, but they're wide open next to each other, and a lot more people over here. This campground has two loops where I am, and kind of over there, I'm in the non-electric sites, which is probably why there's nobody over here right now. That loop is, is quite busy. Almost nobody over here right now. So um, I checked it out, got here, checked it out, and luckily the front office was open. Scored today. Uh, and again, there's, there's my site. Somebody's driving by. And I am just a stone's throw. Well, probably, for me, probably a few stone's throw. To one of the largest lakes in Minnesota, Lake Mille Lacs. Just down that path and other paths here. Look at this. Whoa. And again, I'm in the south uh, east corner of the lake, and um, I think it was last winter. It was definitely snow, late fall, winter. I was on the other side of this lake at uh, Malacca, Cathio State Park, I think that was the name. Uh, where I stayed in a camper cabin during the winter, and I think this was mostly ice at that point. So, a um, bit of a difference there. And we're right here on the lake. And this is the campground I'm at, Maple Grove. That's the other one, Lake 
view. So we'll just kind of take a jaunt over there, a little walkie walk, and check that one out. <laughs> Sorry, Rick. Yeah, how you doing? And some quite nice trails around here too, right along the lakeside here. Paved, it's uh, I feel like a VIP. I'm not used to that. I feel like I can do it. These are the campsites pretty close to the water. It's not like it's that much closer than I am, I guess. Um, but you're right on the road. There's a few here that are kind of by the dock here too, but they're right on top of each other. Not as much privacy. A nice beach here. I'm headed through the woods that way. There's supposed to be some sort of a scenic overlook or something. We'll check that out. So it was about a half mile uh, leisure walk down here to the other end of the park. I think it's called Pope Point, I think. Got these odd, ah, nice rocks, seed rocks here to walk on. Really see the other side. Now there's Looks like two islands out here. I've never knew there were islands out here. Or did I? Because I think I did see one last winter in a road going to it. So I'm just forgetful. But look at that. They're probably hard to see on the camera, but there's a building of some sort on that one. Maybe that's the one I saw from over there last year. I don't know. More than you want to know. And according to this plaque here, if I look straight out, it's right th there. There's another island straight out that way, which is the smallest national wildlife refugee in the nation. To these tern birds, T-E-R-N. Just out there. Not the biggest state park by any means, but very quiet. And again, still, I got two hours till uh, darkness here. Nobody over here at all. 
pretty quiet. You can hear boats in the distance, which is beautiful. So, time for me to get supper going, I think. Oh, you just can't beat this time of season. So tonight I've got, uh, I went to a local, found a local uh, meat shop, which is always great. And I've opted for chicken tonight. It's a uh, Parmesan crusted chicken breast, some uh, green beans, and some couscous, I think it's called. Looks like grits, but uh, we'll give this a shot. Also there, I got um, at the meat shop, blueberry maple sticks. Um, I thought I'd try it. I mean, mm. Kind of like uh, blueberry pancakes in a sausage. Still tasty. Well, we'll see how that couscous is. <laughs> Chicken looks fantastic. Oh, that's really good. Crusted like that. Mm. And that's not bad either. Certainly got a nice fire going. Took a walk around the camp ground area. Just walked down to the lake one last time before it gets completely dark here. Nights are definitely getting cooler, but so comfortable. Not cold, just cooler. It's very comfortable. Beautiful view. Well, the way I'm kind of figuring things out right now, is this will probably be one more month of tent camping. Then it's gonna get too cold, I think. It's probably it for September. October, I have some dates blocked out. Hopefully I can get to uh, three or four tent camps before the cold and the snow comes. And that's what everybody's favorite is, seeing me suffer in the snow. Get this pulled down. Check the lake out one more time. There's a single loon out there swimming.
heard him talking a little bit ago, which is seems r rare for me to hear, I guess, which for the state bird. Yeah, that's the state bird, right? Yeah. Oh, look at him. Look at him. I just haven't heard a lot of the loons up north while I've been up here. Beautiful day. Got a bit of a traffic jam here. A lovely little town. Isle. Or is it Islay? No, uh, it's Isle, I think. So I'm over a little bit right about there, tip of my fingers where I was camping. Just went out to this little overlook here. That's not my car making that noise, by the way. There's another vehicle here. It's just a really nice uh, view of the lake here. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe, appreciate it. So beautiful out here. Oh, there's some geese out there. Not geese, they're uh, ducks or loons. I can't tell. Thanks for watching. Beautiful, beautiful fall.